Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, this channel is all about worms and vermiculture and gardening things. So today we're going to take a look in on the no grip bin. This bin has been running for nine months consecutively without having any grit inputs at all. No sand, no eggshell, no nothing. And we've been tracking how these worms are doing without any grit. So let's have a look here. Uh, thus far, they have done okay. We ran this last year, but we did have leaves in there. So basically people said, well, maybe there was dirt on the leaves. So this year we're only using my paper bedding and regular table scraps. So let's take a look in here. I'm not sure. It looks like there might be some avocado shells on this side. So we'll come and take a look. It's been almost two months and so it's looking pretty dry. Uh, maybe a little less dry underneath, but looking, there's some worms there. Yay, found worms. Um, but I'm thinking that unfortunately the dryness of the bin probably has done no, this bin no service. So I'm hoping that, oh good, they're all, <laughs> they didn't make a worm ball for us, but they are still alive, so good job worms. So I did put water in this bin a while ago. Okay, there we go. So I doubt very much that the goo we fed them last time is here at all. We fed them, I'll put a picture below, but we fed them like a pasta granola bar uh, mix last time. But that's been, I'll put how many days it's been, but it's been a little under two months since we've looked in on these guys. They have definitely been neglected, which does not help the experiment. You know, the worms are probably just a little skinnier because they're dry. If you have, you know, a worm farm that gets too dry, a lot of times in the beginning, the worms don't actually dry. They just lose body mass to where they are little. So even though this is a red wiggler, it's kind of little. So hopefully we will get them some good food and get the moisture in this bin up and feed them. And hopefully they will bounce back really well. But I do see a wide variety of ages of worms. So we have a probably couple week old worm, and then we have some adults with clitellums. This is a mix of the Red Wiggler Blue Worm European Nightcrawler mix. And probably at this point in the year, it, it is probably 80% Red Wigglers and Blue Worms, and then, you know, just a tiny bit of the European Nightcrawlers. They just don't breed as fast in these kind of systems for me, for whatever reason. The volume of this bed is a little bit low for me, so I am going to give them quite a bit of shredded paper first before we feed them. So we'll just feed down the middle this time and give them a good central location to, you know, get their food. But if you look at this, I mean, they are doing castings, they are making castings, they are reproducing, so the no grit situation does not seem to be really hard on them. If you started a worm farm, did you start with grit? Uh, put it in the comments below, or did you watch some videos or read some books later and be like, oh no, I forgot grit? Let me know, because I think I did when I first started. I don't think I was intentionally adding grit at the beginning. And, you know, this experiment is kind of going along the lines of, is grit all that important? Now, this is just wet, shredded cardboard. This isn't even really my prepared bedding. But I am going to try and get this bin built up a little bit, so if the worms want to reproduce, they have more than enough room to. Okay, so this is nice and wet, and then they are going to get a huge feeding. They're going to get four whole bananas, and I'll break it open so they can get into it. I'm not going to try and make this difficult for them. These were previously frozen, so that should be very, very fast food here. Kind of spread them out so the worms have all the real estate that they could possibly want there. That looks good. Alright, so we're going to cover them up and give them a little more bedding. Okay, there we go. We'll kind of put the put the bedding in here, just a, or the castings in here a little bit to get the microbes going, give the worms an idea like, hey, this is where the, the good stuff is. So let me know what you think of this experiment. Um, a lot of times people are like, oh, you're crazy. The worms aren't going to eat. But clearly, you know, you can see the castings. They're definitely eating successfully, and the food is disappearing. In fact, the 
avocado pit that we have in, had in here last time is nowhere to be seen, so they actually ate the entire avocado pit without any grit or anything. So what do you think? What are they using for grit in here? Is it just anything, you know, like the wood pulp from the cardboard or or maybe somebody suggested that when the isopods die, they leave chitin behind. You know, perhaps that's what they're using for grit. I don't know. Well, if you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. I will link the playlist to the rest of this over here. And YouTube, of course, thinks you're going to like this video over here. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.